Hi everyone, I'm Scott Stokely and I am here with Team Norway. We've got Knut Holland. Yes. We've got Peter Lunde. Yep. And the honorary Norwegian. Turns week. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Big T. Big, Big T, the tour manager. I yeah. uh, will start with the tour manager. So did you come over from Norway or were you yeah. here? You did. Yeah, so I came with, um, so I know Knut from before. We have, our clubs are uh, close to each other. So I played with him like in leagues and stuff. So they asked me to join them for this trip and okay. travel with them over. And so is your main job like like a rock band manager? Like you like have to keep the groupies away except for the ones you handpick or is that how it works? Yeah, it sounds like uh, a proper description of my job. I okay, yeah. <laughs> all right, you heard it here, we got it. Yeah. So what do you guys, is it your first time to America? I've been here two times before, actually. Okay, and you? It's my first time here. First time, okay. So, we'll start with you. you having fun? Definitely, having a blast. Okay, and what what, what do you like most? Ooh, it's a hard question. It is. Um, just like 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 the disc golf community here, like in general. Like, a lot more quality courses, a lot of good players, yeah. and it's just big, very huge here, so. And you have been here and you came back. Yes. So is is it different coming back and like now that you kind of know your way around? Is it yeah. easier, less fun, more I, fun? It's more fun, yes. I've been here two times and both were only for one and two tournaments. So okay. this is like the first tour I've been on and I absolutely love it. And you are going back to Europe after this event? Yes. Everybody? Yeah. Are you coming back for the World Championships or to...? I'm going back to Ledgestone, me at least. Okay, so um, let's talk and Worlds? Worlds, Des Moines, hopefully USAGC. Okay, so you're here, but not with not with you guys. We don't know yet. No. He hasn't got me locked down yet. <laughs> we'll okay. see about that. Walter Rice. Yeah. <laughs> so, if, if, um, comparing the disc golf to over there, I mean, the disc golf's amazing and blowing up in Europe, but it's just, is it just that it's bigger here? Yes and uh, harder and longer. Yeah, Every hole is, you have to throw really hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everywhere. Yeah, and it's a little more professional, I would say. Disco in, in Europe is becoming a lot more professional now than like the past years, but just the overall experience is, I would say, more professional here. Yeah. Is that something that you've, have you ever thought about making, uh, making being over here permanent? I would love that. It's kind of hard with the visa and stuff. You cannot, can, I can only be here for 90 days and then I have to go home for 90 days. And then I can come back 90 days. Can't, well, now wait a second. Can't you be brought in like, I mean, athletes from all over the world come in. Is it is it something a sponsor could do to like, I guess you petition or something, or is there a process? You need like a sports visa, I think. A sports what? Sports visa. Sports visa, yeah. What? Why? Why wouldn't you get one? I don't know. I haven't. Okay. Haven't asked for it though. But okay. So it, so it's possible then. Yeah, it's possible. Yes. Yeah. And you Should too. Uh, yeah, I have a diff slightly different kind of visa than Knut, so I can be here for a little longer. Okay. Yeah. Now, your hair is not normally blonde. No, <laughs> it's not. You lost a bet. Yes, I did. Okay. So I already yeah. told you about this because. Your hair was even wider before. Yeah. So we were in Waco or Belton? I think it was Waco. I think it was Waco. Waco, maybe, yes. Yeah, we're, so we're in Waco. We're out to dinner at this barbecue restaurant, and this probably 60 year old woman who owns the place came up to us and we're chatting with the owner, and we told her we were here for a disc golf tournament. And, <laughs> and, and, uh, uh, she says, oh, there were some Norwegian players here yesterday. And then she takes off your hat and she said, and one of them looked like an angel. And we're like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's Canoe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, that's me. Because of the white the white hair. So mm -hmm. what was the bet? Uh, I played a round versus, uh, against Bla and Lusha. I had to do this at the Fountain Hills at Memorial. All right. It all came down to the last hole. For Blair. Yeah. Have you traveled with him before? No. This is the first time we've traveled together. 
think we met at PCS Sula last year. So yeah. I love that. So what if disc golf in Norway? Is it I mean it's blowing up everywhere. Is it a little bit behind like Finland and this like Sweden or is it right there with them? I would say right there with them. I, I would say Finland is like a step ahead yeah. of everyone, but Norway might be second, or at least not far behind. Is it really? Yeah. Because it wasn't that long ago, it was Sweden and, and everybody else. Yeah. And then Finland kind of took over, but I thought Norway kind of got lost in the shuffle, but you're saying Norway's actually, it's blown up. Yeah, it's blown Just up. Just like anywhere much. else. I would guess it's about the same in Norway, Estonia, and Sweden. Yeah. Okay. I would say around the same. That's, that's amazing. I love that. Uh, so the plan for me next year, I'm going to do the whole Euro Tour. Mm -hmm. Give me some advice. Ooh, I've got advice. <laughs> mm, try to make dinner, not buy too much. Yeah. <laughs> Outside. It's expensive. Definitely. Yeah. At least in some of the countries. Okay. At least in Norway, very expensive. Yeah, it's more usual like here to go out and eat dinner like at a restaurant and we don't in really Norway do we don't really do it because it's it's very expensive you only do maybe like once a month really kind so, of thing. so it's more is that because it's more like because families spend time together in Norway more is that kind of it or is it yeah I would, think, I would say like a, like a dinner is like a family happening like yeah, at we, home we eat dinner every day like after work and school then we always eat dinner together okay so you've been out of competing. What's the highlights of your the competition highlights so far? Competition highlights. Hmm. Probably uh, last weekend at Jonesboro for me. Where did you finish there? Oh, I didn't finish very good, but uh, I played a chase card before the last round. She so got on coverage last, and all that. Yeah, that was so, fun. Congratulations! It's exciting. That's awesome. Yes. Thank you. And you? Uh, I had a pretty good start to the trip in Las Vegas, so I believe I was tied fourth after the first round. Oh, so you actually you played on the lead card? Uh, no, I was on like a third card. Oh, we got a lot, lot of people. PDJ number. Yes, yeah. um, but yeah, that was yeah. that was a good start and gave me a lot of confidence. That's cool. All right, so anything you want to say to all the fans back in Norway because you're representing a whole nation? Yeah, we gotta at least give a shout out to all the people that helped us actually getting here. Yeah, yeah for sure. We did sure. A, a fundraiser before we left, and a lot of Norwegian players stepped up and helped us financially to get over here. So, mm -hmm. thank you so much to all those guys. Helped a lot. Yeah, yeah. And our sponsors. Well, yeah, and, well, you, and you're representing everybody well. I mean, everyone likes likes you guys. And I mean, I mean, everyone likes everybody, but I mean, you're definitely representing Norway well. Uh, what about your disc sponsors? Give them a shout out. Yeah, we're both sponsored by Inova Champion Discs and uh, Carry. Carry. And I'm also sponsored by Conta. What's your favorite discs by them? Favorite disc. Mm. What what disc do people have to have in their bag? I would say T Bird 3. T Bird 3. Gotta have yes. a T Bird 3 for. For I mean, far straight. <laughs> <laughs> straight and far. Yes. I mean, that's. Straight and far is the most important drive in the game. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it really is. It really is. What about you? I would probably say T Bird or T Bird 3. Yeah. Just a very controllable this that you can actually get to go really, really far if you want to, but still shape shots in the woods like shorter shots. Yes. Okay. It's a perfect controllable fairway driver, I would say. All right. And when I get to Norway next year, are all the best players going to be over here? Maybe. Depends I hope on not. When. Depends on when, yes. Wow, that's yeah. my plan. <laughs> that's my secret plan. Where do I need to go play disc golf in Norway? I would say you have to play the PCS Sula. There you gotta play two of the best courses. And I would also check out Trumpu. Yeah, in Oslo. Or yeah. just outside Oslo. Okay. It's a bit first all of them. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. And as soon as you turn the camera off, you're going to tell me all the juicy gossip. <laughs> the stuff that might not be suitable for my all ages audience. Because <laughs> I, I, we already got a, we already know about the group thing. We covered that at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thanks, you guys. It's great. Really great to get to know you. And 
I can't wait to uh, well see you again this year, and uh, we'll I mean our paths will cross again for sure. Yeah, definitely. All right, thanks everyone.